clicking sound you hear is the wheels slipping on the grass-covered rails. This is definitely no place to be riding in an open car. Deja vu all over again. For a minute I thought this was Chama. <laughs> but it's Trovo. End of the line for sure this time. Brits went off looking for their bus. The train crew tended to their overheated engine. And I got off for a quick shot of the train where it may never be seen again. Now it's back to the green tunnel and our own private train. But watch out! In Calanovo, we picked up the open car again and a few more fares. Now we were pushing the open car ahead of the motor coach, which made this the uh, fourth configuration of the day. Before long, one of the fares got off and the engine went to fetch some more water. Well, that poor conductor was sure ready for this day to be over, but there was one more surprise in store for him. As we arrived back in Sapitki, it quickly became apparent that something wasn't quite right here. Those two cars that we had left in the siding were now down the main. Apparently the college kids had got bored with their party and had decided to try their hand at railroading. After exchanging a few pleasantries with the party hardy bunch, the train crew tied under the cars, pulled them back up by, by the siding, and then ran around to put the motor car on the other end of the train. So we left Sapitki with our open car on the tail end of a four-car train of the fifth and final configuration for the day.
After a great day on the narrow gauge, we got a good night's sleep, then headed off down the road, looking for new adventure. It happens that the road took us to Kalanovo, where we crossed trails with that little 080 working the morning passenger train for a group of German rail fans. Thank <laughs> you. 